Good afternoon, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. I'm out here today with my wife, Amber. And as you see, we got some crazy little traps. So we're gonna do something today we've never done on this channel, y'all. We're gonna set some traps back here in this swamp, and we're gonna see if we can't catch some crayfish. Maybe we'll catch some other stuff too, you just never know. Let's see how this goes, y'all. Wish us luck. Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available, and we will have more available soon. And also, guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there, because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website, so go check it out, y'all. And you can be in your own, very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. Well, I got these traps here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these collapsible kind of fabric traps. And I have one I call mud minnow trap that I'm gonna try as well. So I got a total of seven traps. In the state of Florida, there's no regulations on how many traps you can use. There's no trap regulations. There's also no size limit regulations on crayfish. There's no bag limit on crayfish. The only regulation that we have, there is a species of crayfish called the Black Creek crayfish that you cannot harvest, but we do not have those in this county. Those are only found in four counties in North Florida. I think it's Duval County, St. John's County, Clay County, Putnam and County. Putney, Putnam County. So. We shouldn't have no Black Creek crayfish here. We're gonna be looking for rusty crayfish and some of the common species of crayfish here. So we're gonna get these baited and see what happens. All right, guys, well, these this particular trap comes with a little bait pouch, but it's way up here at the top, which I'm thinking this is not gonna be in the water as much because the water in some of these areas isn't real deep. And I'm really not wanting to submerge the trap 100%. So if a snake or a turtle gets in, it can at least put its head up and breathe. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put my bait in the body of the trap. And what we're using is just little, these are freshwater shad or pilchards that we got in the St. Jones River this year when we were catfishing. So I'm just gonna take some, they're still frozen. So I'm just gonna break up a little, about like that. And I'm just gonna throw that in the trap. And I'm just gonna do that to all of them. Bait them all up kind of like that. And uh, we'll see what happens. And we'll just go along and put them in some areas and see if we can catch some crayfish, guys. And what kind of gave us the idea to do this is when we're out here snake hunting, I have a herping channel. And I go, Amber and I go snake hunting just about every night. We go looking for snakes. We've been seeing a lot of crayfish, nice sized crayfish, walking on the road. So my thought is if there's that many that they're coming out on the road, we should have a good population here and we might be able to get enough to do something with. All right, y'all. Well, I got all seven traps baited. Baited pretty good. Yeah, that one baited real heavy. But we'll see what happens. This is just a trial and error thing. This is just to see what can happen. If we end up finding some crayfish, we'll get a little bit more serious about it. But we'll see what happens. All right, guys. We're out here getting ready to do it. We got our traps all set up. We're gonna set some out. You ready to do this? Yes. <laughs> Pretty interesting to see what we find. Hopefully we get some other stuff besides crayfish. It'd be cool to get some amphiumas, maybe even some crazy looking snakes or something, just to see something different. But we're gonna get to it. We're gonna start setting these out. We're gonna set our first one here at the base of these willow trees. And yes, mom and I both have snake <laughs> boots on because this is a cotton mouth infested area. We see a ton of cotton mouths out here. I do mean a ton of them. So here, put out some string for me. And I'm just gonna set this out here at the base of these trees. In hopes we'll catch a crawfish. You good? Yep. All right. We'll see what happens. And then I'll cut this off and we'll just tie it off right here. And we got six more to set out. 
here. Like in the middle right there? Yeah, like right here, right okay. in that little spot right there. Perfect. There it goes. Awesome. A lot deeper than I thought it was right there. Mm -hmm. We think a it's like two feet deep there. Yeah, it's a lot deeper than I thought it was. All right. Well, we're not going to let these sit out for very long. We're not going to let them sit out overnight. We're going to come back probably about five, six hours. Just before the time it is that we usually come out here and look for snakes. We're going to come out and check them. But, uh, I don't know. Looks pretty interesting, guys. Got some cool cattails right here. Got some vegetation, which is the kind of stuff crawfish like to get in and feed on. The root systems of everything. And dead fish so we'll see but we also got to keep an eye out because we have seen alligators in here so hopefully no alligators get our trap y'all right, i'm gonna put another one right in here looks kind of crayfishy if i can even get it over there oh, they get a little farther over there we go all right, we're gonna put one right here. I think. I want to get one of the, next to those roots of that tree right there. But I don't want to get all up in this swamp. I'll tell you that right now. There we go. All right, let's see here. Keep an eye out for gators and snakes when you're doing this stuff. Here we go. Got this little culvert pipe right here. Something jumped off the culvert pipe. Yeah, I saw that. I'm gonna put these right here. See how that goes. Perfect. Alrighty. Right here. Right there. Just throw way, way out there in the middle of all that okay. stuff. Where's the string? Okay. Got it. Is that good? Somehow the string came off, babe. Oh. Yeah, well, we got to get that out. So we're on a rescue mission to rescue that trap. I got a little weighted jig here. Guys, I got it. I got it. Alrighty. All right, let's retie this thing. Try it again. All right, go ahead. There we go. Is that good? That's fine. Yep, that's perfect. All right. Well, there we go, guys. We got one more to go. Put our last one right there. Perfect. That's perfect. Awesome. Well, let's see what happens, guys. We got them all out. What do you think, babe? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Are you optimistic? I don't know. I don't know. There you go. Well, we'll see, guys. We've put them in kind of diverse areas, different water depths, different vegetation types. We'll see. Maybe we'll get something. Maybe we won't. But we'll be back in about five hours, six hours. Check them. If we don't have anything, we may let them sit overnight. We'll just see. It's just a, this is just a trial thing, just to see what happens. Because we've been seeing a lot of crayfish at night. But, see you in a couple hours. All right, guys, it's been about six hours. It's almost seven o'clock in the evening. So we're gonna check our traps. What do you think we're gonna get? Think I have we, no think idea. Think we'll get anything at all? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm kinda, <laughs> I have no clue what to expect. So we're gonna check them real quick. Let's see what all we got. Alrighty, here's our first trap. Let's see what we got. Anticipation's killing me. And we got absolutely nothing in that one. So I'm going to put it back out and I will come check it tomorrow. I got two little water beetles in there. Three little water beetles. Water beetle. Yep. So I'll check it tomorrow. Nothing on the first trap, y'all. Well, we got trap number two see what we got y'all I don't feel nothing in it so I'm gonna say nothing got one crayfish there is a crayfish in there babe is, there? is it little no he's decent too 
Okay guys, we got one crayfish. Rusty cray. Right there. Check him out. So I'll go ahead and leave this. Maybe we just need to leave him out a little longer. But we got one, so there is crayfish here. Okay. Alright. That's we got one. Yeah. I'm surprised actually. Trap number three, right here. We got what is that in there? We got an amphiuma. We do. Oh, we have an God. we have an amphiuma. Oh. Holy cow. Yo, that is an amphibian. That is the largest amphibian we have here in Florida. That is an amphiuma. That is crazy. Yo, well, so far we got one crayfish. We did get an amphiuma, which is awesome. And if you want to see more about that, go to my reptile channel, Reptile Outdoors. I'll put the link in the description area of this video. Go check that out and you'll get to see more about the amphiuma because I did a little bit more in depth about that. But here we go, trap number four. Let's see if we got anything in here. And we got some more water beetles and a little minnow. The other one's right here. Keep my eye out for snakes and stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Oh man, really? What just happened? string just broke. I always carry a snake stick with me, and it comes in handy for stuff like that. Let's see if we get anything. And we got nothing in that one. Well, all right, y'all. Now we'll let it sit. Well, actually, you know what? We had something in here because there's whole it tore. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a gator? I don't know. It's all torn to pieces. Well, you know there's a gator that lives in there. A gator or a turtle did that. Something did it. All right, well, we'll just empty the bait out of this one. That trap's no good. All right, y'all. Well, not that great of an outcome. Out of seven traps, we got one crayfish and one amphiuma. Really not that good. But like I said, this was just a trial thing. We were just coming out trying. It's basically just an adventure for us. Just something, try something different, see if we can actually catch some crayfish. If you do know how to catch crayfish here in Florida, tell me what bait to use. If you could down in the comment section, give me a little bit of advice, what bait I should use, how long I should let it soak for. Cause they only soak for like five or six hours today. I'm gonna let the rest of these stay overnight and I'll check them tomorrow. If we have anything, you'll see it. If not, this might be the end of the video. See you guys in the morning. All right, y'all, well, I'm back out here. I'm solo, Amber has to work today, so I'm gonna pull these traps. Whether we have anything or not, I'm gonna pull them out and we'll see what we have. All right, y'all, I don't have my snake book boots on this morning, so I gotta be really careful. Let's see if we got anything. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, crayfish. And we have, we have one crayfish. Oh, we have a couple little ones in there. We got one decent crayfish in there and some beetles. So you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll take that crayfish and see if we get more. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a couple little ones in there, but we got one decent one. That's a decent sized crayfish, y'all. That's not a bad, that's a blue crayfish. That's the Florida blue cray, looks like. All right, but we got one. All right, let me go put him in a bucket. And I'll dump these out. And we'll see. You just never know. We got one, though. We do have one. If we can get a dozen, I'd be happy. I might even do a catch and cook on that if we can get a dozen. All right, y'all, I should have another one right around here somewhere, but I'm not seeing, there it is. All right, there we go, where's the line? 
Let's see what we got here. We had one in here yesterday and I threw it back in here with it in there. Oh, I had one on the outside. Did you see that? Well, the one that was in here got out. Looks like something, something happened. All right, we got something got in here and messed stuff all up. All right, well, the crayfish that was in here is now gone. And something got in here and tore my net all up. All right, y'all. Here's number four. Let's see what we got here. This is the one we had the amphiuma in before. Oh, it's been moved. Okay. Something brought it over there. And it looks like we got another amphiuma in here. And we do. It might be the same one. And we do have a crayfish in there, but it looks like he's dead now. All right, well let's uh, let's get this buddy out and check him out. We got another amphiuma. I didn't really show you guys the other one. I put that on my reptile channel, but I'll show you guys this one. We'll get him out and we'll let him go. That's pretty cool. Another amphiuma. Oh, this one's, oh, it, yeah, this is a little bit bigger one. A little bit bigger amphiuma. And these things eat crayfish. Now he, this one's dead. So yeah, he probably killed this one when he was in there. But there, we had another crayfish. But he ate that one. But this is an amphiuma, y'all. This is a salamander, a type of salamander. I can get a hold of them. And they do bite, they do have teeth. But he's got little feet on him. It's called a two toed amphiuma, is what it's called. And this is the largest salamander in Florida, as far as I know. And I don't think it's the largest one in the United States. I think we do have some bigger ones. But uh, that's a pretty cool little thing right there. It is not an eel. It is not a fish. I've seen people on other YouTube channels catch them and call them eels. It's not a fish. It is an amphibian. But cool. We got another one. That is awesome. Super cool animal. Alrighty, I took a couple pictures of him, so now I'm going to let him go. And there he goes. Very cool animal. Very cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Looks like something pulled it further back in there. It did. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we got absolutely nada in that one. Oh no, we got one more after this actually. We got what's on what's that oh, stick? Um, we got nothing in this one. All right, y'all, last one. Let's see what we got here, if anything. Here's some bullfrogs. Let's see, is there anything in there? Nope, there's a bunch of little tiny fish. All right, y'all. We're gonna let our one little crawfish go that we got. See you later, buddy. Well, all right, y'all, that was fun. We did not catch enough crawfish to do anything with, but we did catch a couple. We did catch two amphiumas, which is super cool in my book. You've been watching my channel, you know anything about me. I'm a huge reptile and amphibian fan. I absolutely love them. And to be able to see two amphiumas, that's just really cool. Because that's not an animal you get to see very much of. And some people out there probably have never seen one or even knew they existed. My wife was one of them. She had never seen one, didn't even know they existed, and she thought they were super cool. They're awesome little animals. 
and if you want to learn more about them go to my reptile channel the video won't be up for a couple months over there because i'm only doing one video a week but i have another channel called reptile outdoors i'll have the link in the description area you can go check that out and see all my reptile adventures over there i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like this content if you liked what i did here you want to see me try it again someplace else or do it again let me know in the comment section and we'll do another one it was a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it so i'll see y'all again tight lines jetty rockers see you guys on the next one